so i'll be talking to you this evening on plan process and product and basically i'm going to be sharing my story with you of how i became the overall best graduating student through the help of god um first things first you, you understand that there is no success without god and having god as the foundation of your success is the beginning of everything i'm not not disproving the fact that you have a path to play so having cleared the god factor i'm going to be talking about the path to play so what did i do to emerge as the overall best graduating students of university of law 2021 um three years before i gained admission i have been studious i've been very studious so i stay awake most nights because i'm a night reader and i was always reading always reading almost every night i read my books on applying to university of law in 2016 i gained admission to study mathematics initially what i applied for was mechanical engineering but i couldn't make the jump cut off mark because i had 196 so i opted for a change of course and decided to study mathematics in university of law so what did i do when i gained admission to study math well i felt very bad because i couldn't get my desired course which is mechanical engineering but i encouraged myself which is um, whatever i'm gonna do i have to give my best into it even if it's not something i genuinely want but i found myself in need then i'm gonna give it my best shot so i i started making plans and just arranging myself gradually as a jjc not knowing what to do so i had a conversation with the scholar in 200 level then she's the, she was the overall best graduating student in her set so i had conversations with her around some success tips success talk because she was writing a 5.0 gpa how she was able to do it so she shared some tips with me and i went back to my drawing board i said if a lady can do it then i can do it also so i made up my mind that every semester i'm going to write a 5.0 gpa i wasn't looking for a first class i wasn't looking for graduating as overall best students in university that wasn't my intention i just said my intention that every semester i'm going to write a 5.0 gpa and i had plans on how to work towards it so at the beginning of the semester i bring out a plain sheet and i draw my desired result what i want it to look like at the end of the semester and at the back of that plain sheet i begin to write the cost of of getting that result what is it going to take me what are the sacrifices i need to make to get 5.0 gpa in that semester what are the difficult courses that i'll be doing for that semester that will require more time so you must understand that you need to have a plan you need to have a concrete plan a concrete plan okay i i know i have to go for lectures i have specified time for my extra studies i know i have to study my book every night every night every day no matter what and i stick to the plan there was no excuse there was no excuse you know at times you get tired at times you don't feel like doing it but i stick to it not giving excuse meaning there is no tiredness no tiredness warrants me not doing what i made up my mind to do no circumstance will stop me from from not doing what i had another to do thing i do I is i naturally me. enjoy the process you know so many people want to get to the top but they don't want to enjoy the process of getting to the top you see reading as difficult you see attending classes as difficult you see praying as difficult you see doing assignment as difficult no i just try to enjoy the process like every task that i had to do to get to the top i didn't see them as stress while a lot of people feel pity for me because i sleep in class most of the time i don't see it as stress because i was chasing something and if you naturally enjoy the process involved in success you will definitely get to the top so what are the key things that you need to do as a student to get to the top learn to enjoy those tasks another, another tip I, I used was um commitment commitment and investment of my resources investment of my resources uh, uh, i spend my money on some materials that are useful even though 
the course does not require that material but to aid understanding i spend money on some things just to build myself up so that i can succeed in that particular course another thing i do is i don't joke with my exams i don't joke with my tests i don't joke with my exams or tests not at all not at all after spending several nights in in class and trying to study and struggling for boss to come to school um, some students just naturally on the day of exam, they just say, ah, me, I can't do this one. They just leave it like that. No, I don't give chances. I make sure I'm prepared. Another thing I do is I read my entire note. I don't leave any page alone. I try to cover everything completely. You know, what is what if the last page that you don't read is what comes out? Then all the efforts that you made in, in reading the previous page just become a waste. So I put my best effort to complete every Another task that I, I use. Is, there are some semesters that I come prepared because of leadership responsibility and some other things that I had to do. I know that during the semester, I may not be free. I may not have the chance to to attend to my academics like that. So what I do is when there is holiday like this, I try to collect materials from those that have done the course, make inquiries, collect past questions, and just study everything before school resumes. So when I get to class, I'm just doing revision. While some of my mates may be learning for the first time, I just come to Another class. Another tip I'm going to share revision. with you is um, I don't joke with my time. I never joke with my time. I, I have every time planned out like every of my day is filled with activities i have things to do at specified time and i must do them so there is no way you can you can get so far if you don't learn to prioritize your time you have so many things so many things to distract you so many things to take your time but if you have a vision then you must make sure that you spend a major portion of your time pursuing that vision that you set out for yourself so i made sure i structure my activities even the fun time like if i have to watch movies if i have to do one thing or the other it should be contributing to the vision that i have in mind which is getting a 5.8 yeah GP. and yeah. another tip is you must learn to sacrifice convenience for the meantime it's it's not going to be forever but you must learn to sacrifice convenience for the meantime the major purpose why sleeping class was because i had a very comfortable room and there was no way i could study in my room i'll always fall asleep i knew that if i really want to get what i have in mind i need to sacrifice that comfort so i leave my comfortable room my comfortable bed and i come to class to stay and um so many people then might think maybe i don't have a place to stay also no i actually had a place to stay but and, um, something I else i must emphasize so well is your association the friends that you move around with um god gave me a wonderful set of friends that were also having almost the same vision that i was having so so t sometimes when i'm weak when i'm down they help me up they they give me that that um, motivation to keep to keep going to keep going sometimes when i'm down and it's not possible that you know everything at times i had to go to them to seek for help and uh, they put me through on some few things and i'm back apart from online sources that i got help from so have good friends have good friends your your company will influence you a lot don't move around with people that don't have the same intentions with you they will distract you so well because while you are trying to be serious with your studies and you're trying to make something great you trying to make something good the other person will just be giving you discouraging words and in in few months before you know you'll be down to the same point with them and i must so learn not to have disprove the, the the fact of um, how the Holy Spirit came to help me. There are times that I literally had the knowledge that I was going to fail. It's not as if anybody told me no. I just had some promptings in my spirit that um, the way you are handling this course, if you continue like that, you fail. There was a certain time like that. Um, before resumption, self, I was going to take a course the next semester. I was just praying during the holiday. I just had the hunch that um, if you don't if you don't get serious with this course, you're going to fail it next semester. And uh, I played around with it, but it almost looked real. I know that whenever God is speaking to me that I'm going to fail, it means I'm going to get a B. 
So something else I must tell you is you must learn to define your failure. Don't let school define your failure. Um, some people define failure as F, some define failure as D. No, I define failure as a B. So whenever I see a B on my result, I cry. But I, I was grateful to God that God helped me through that time and I didn't get a B in that course because the Holy Spirit helped me out. So having Christ is another Hi added guys, advantage is, for uh, Diola Joseph. And I'm the overall best graduating student, University of Lauren 2021. And so, I'm a data um, scientist. Those are just a few of the tips that I'm going to share with you. And um, they, they really worked out well for me. So, if you have any big vision that you're chasing, have a concrete plan on how you're going to achieve it. Don't just leave it, leave it blank and try to do anyhow. No. And uh, make sure you always come back to, to your plans to see if you are getting things done or something else is distracting you, something else is taking your attention from that thing which you've put down. Then enjoy your process and just let the products come naturally to you. So well, thank you very much.